Hey, what's up YouTube? TMZ1313 here. Today I just want to talk about what can you power off a 100 watt solar panel? And this question gets to anyone that owns solar panels or messes around with solar panels and you talk about them to other people that don't understand solar panels. That's always the first question. What can you power off of your solar panels? And that is, I think personally, the hardest question to answer simply because there are so many variables in a solar uh in a solar system um so i'm gonna try to explain it as best as i can without getting into any math here uh, i'm simply just gonna um tell you guys my understanding about solar panels and why this is such a hard question to ask um so first of all <clears throat> what can you power off a 100 watt solar panel all right, let's get a little understanding about what solar panels do. You do not power anything off of a solar panel. Solar panels are not made to power anything other than charging your batteries. That being said, you technically cannot power anything off your solar panels because what gives your uh what powers the device you want to use is the battery bank that you have. The solar panels are solely their sole purpose is to power or to charge your battery bank. Um, there are a few things that you can run off straight off solar panels. And I'm just going to say one. And that is a DC, uh, like a 12 volt fan. Alright. Now that fan is, uh, or a DC motor. That motor will not last long, I will tell you that. But it will run off of it. And I've seen people run stuff off their inverters. But that is very dangerous for the inverter and the device it's plugged into because if you get a cloud you get under voltage and that will destroy that device or the inverter all right so that being said a solar panel does not power anything your battery bank does so that begs the question what can your battery bank um power and the simple answer to that is what voltage is it now there's different kind of voltages that you can get on your battery bank uh, normally for solar, there's 12, 24, 48, and 72, all right? Uh, the most common is uh, 48, or I'm sorry, 12, 24, or 48. I missed a number, 32 or 36. Anyways, um, so the real question is what can you power off that battery bank? Now, 12 volt. And 24 volt, you can power different things off of it. And here's the reason why. Um, a 12 volt system could only handle about 1500 watts AC power. Alright. Um, a 24 volt could handle 3000 watt AC power. And why I say that is because when you convert DC to AC, a 10 amp load DC, or I'm sorry, a 10 amp load AC will turn into a hundred amps DC to convert that. So um and you really don't wanna um take too many amps out of your battery bank. So that's why it's important to know. When you see a two thousand watt twelve volt inverter, that is ridiculous. You should never buy that because that is very dangerous for your battery bank. Alright, a two thousand watt inverter for twelve volts is too much for that battery bank to handle. Um now, if you had a huge battery bank, that might be a little different question. But uh, generally speaking, um, you don't want to go past 1,500 watts. So what can you run off 1,500 watt um, inverter? Well, you could basically run damn near anything. Now, the time of how long you could run it depends on how many amp hours or watt hours your battery bank has. Now, like I said, there are so many variables into this. All right. Um, because if you got a lead acid system like mine, you could only discharge it 30%, all right? That means that I have a total of, uh, I think it's 5,200 watt hours. Um, I could only use 1,500 watt, uh, watt hours, um, on this battery bank. Now, if you turn into 24 volts... If I had a 24 volt system, same amp hours, I would have 10,000 watt. Um, now, the, 
I'm, I'm sorry, this is, it, it gets really confusing because there's so many variables into what it is. Now, my easiest answer to what you could power off a 100 watt solar panel is this. It can run anything you want up to 1500 watts that your battery bank can handle. Now, um, the real question is, can your uh, solar panel charge those batteries within the next day? That's, I mean, because you want, you want your batteries to be fully topped off every day. Um, and that's the thing. It depends on, now there's so many variables on what a 100 watt panel could produce. Is it during summertime, wintertime? Is there mostly cloudy days, sunny days? Uh, are the angle right on the solar panels? Are they too high, too low? Is the angle too high, too low? Um, is the wire size big enough to carry all the power? Is your wire size long, or is your wire longer than what it should be? Um, do you have an MPPT charge control? Do you have a PWM? See, there's so many variables into this that I cannot give you the simple answer. Um, and my biggest, um, my best explanation to you and what, like, let's say you just want to run lights, all right? Now, are they DC lights or AC lights? That's a question. That's another question. Um, but um, my my best advice is if you just want to get your feet wet, just start small and work your way up. Um, now, with solar panel systems, you always want to do bigger than what you think it's going to be. Now, there are sites out there that will give you some rough math and, never, and stuff like that, but there's so many variables that more than likely it's going to give you the wrong answer and you're going to need more than what it says. So, um, let me just do this. I have a 200-watt solar panel system with 420-watt uh, amp-hour battery bank, all right? I could power this fridge all day long, all night long, without no problem as long as the sun's out every single day as soon as i have one cloudy day i'm not able to run anymore all right i could run all the dc lights my heart my heart desires i mean i could run my whole house off dc lights now granted i said dc not ac because once you get into ac um it turns out to be more amps than what it should be uh to run a simple light so, um, I could also run, basically, if I had a big enough inverter, I could run anything that's 1500 watts. So, I could run my bigger fridge, um, stuff like that. Now, for how long is the question, if I have a absolute bright day, sunny day, I could probably run my indoor or my, my house fridge for about 15, 16 hours, maybe a little bit longer off of this battery bank. Now I would need uh, the next day to be very sunny to charge those batteries back up. So, um, I hope this video helps. I know it's really confusing. I hope I answered your questions. Um, the simple fact is it's not an easy answer to give you guys. Um, and there's a lot of things to think, uh, think about. So if you want to run something, um, the best, my best answer is to get a bigger system than what uh what like a site calculator like um a solar calculator uh, uh says so um just get double of what you think you're gonna need is my best answer i hope this helped you out guys i know it's not the best explanation but it's the best explanation that i could come up with please like my videos subscribe and i'll see you guys later